Our correspondent Jugal Purohit joins us now for more on this story. Jugal, I want to come to you with, uh, with, uh, to, for an understanding of how exactly investors were approached, what kind of promises were made to them, uh, and in the end, how they got duped of their hard-earned money. Well, Pia, it's a rather interesting uh, you know, technique that they used towards executing this uh, grand scheme of theirs. People were approached and said that with the money that you invest in the company, an amount of land would be uh, purchased uh, elsewhere, a little far away. No registration will be done, no stamp duties will be paid on it, but an agreement will be handed over to you saying that this is the amount of land you own. And after that, in 15 years of, uh, of, of time, your money would be, uh, you know, uh, would, would, would triple. And, uh, and, and that's how you would earn uh, in, in, in so far as investing in this company is concerned, Pia. I have now with me an investor who not just invested himself, but also got hundreds of other people to come and invest in the scheme and is now being hounded by people here in Sirsa in Western Haryana, which is where I am. Your name and tell you this scheme मेरा नाम साबराम गोदारा जी और ये स्कीम जी जी कंपनी ने रियल स्टेट में पैसा लगा के जैसे साढे पांच साल के अंदर इंस्टॉलमेंट में पेमेंट लेनी और साढे पांच साल बाद वापस करना तो इन्होंने क्या किया साढे पांच साल कंप्लीट होने के बाद में ये देखिए ये इनके कंप्लीट हो गए और सताई सात दो हजार � अभी तक इसकी पेमेंट नहीं आ रही है यानी कि लगभग एक साल से ऊपर ये चल रहा है यहाँ लोकली कितने लोगों का पैसा लगा और कितना पैसा लगा है लोकल ये मानो सर यहाँ पे मेरे द्वारा जो लगाया गया है या मेरा खुद का जो है लगभग 15-20 करोड़ से प्लस का है और यहाँ पे सिरसा के अंदर इनके 30,000 से प्लस ए एक और सवाल का पूछना चाहूँगा सीबीआई इसकी जांच कर रही है आपको कोई भी गवर्नमेंट की अथॉरिटी से मदद मिली है अभी तक नहीं अभी तक कोई मदद नहीं मिली है जी हमने परसों डीसी साहब को भी ज्ञापन सौंपा था कि हमारा पैसा दिलवाया जाए हम परेशान हैं लोग घर आ रहे हैं लोग पंचायत कर रहे हैं तो कल को अगर कोई गड़बड़ होती है तो इसके लिए कौन जिम्मेवार होगा we have 1.3 crore investors across the length and breadth of India. We are aware, uh, Uttar Pradesh with, uh, with uh, sorry, the total amount of investor is 5 crore yeah. plus. You, yeah. Uttar Pradesh itself has 1.3 uh, crore, Rajasthan, states like Haryana, Punjab, Maharashtra, even Tamil Nadu. All of these places, there have, there have been investors and in lakhs, all of whom are waiting for their money. And, uh, and you know, Pierre, another interesting aspect to this is that from 2011 onwards, SEBI has been right. consistently raising the red flag vis-a-vis -vis this company, its operations, its investments. And yet, as our investigation shows, these people are still able to operate, accept black amount, and you know, promise people that they'll they'll convert into white. Right. It shows a complete and a colossal failure of these of these authorities' mechanisms by the government to keep a check on such agencies. Jagal, I want you to stay with us. I'm going to come back to you for more questions, but I also want to give viewers an understanding of just how much work Headlines Today has put into this investigation and how we came to the bottom of it. Now, our team of reporters posed as potential investors who had about two crore rupees to invest. Mr. Bhangu's agents, as you will see in this next story, simply could not risk the opportunity, resist the opportunity. The CBI has confiscated Bhangu's passport and has questioned him for several hours. Despite this, the company's dubious operations continue unabated. Headlines today went undercover to the company's office with a proposal to invest 2 crore rupees. Our undercover reporter told the officials this money was ill-gotten and could be invested in any, any of the company's ventures. Listen to the reply. तारीख को दे देंगे आपको 200 पर समझ लीजिए 200 200 पर दो लाख या करोड़ दो करोड़ दो करोड़ से आप इसके लिए आप मुझे मुझे दस दिन मुझे टाइम देना होगा अभी मैं बाहर जाऊँगा ना आपको तो किस्तों में दूँगा मतलब मैं पीएसएल का जो आप मुझे दो करोड़ दोगे तो दो करोड़ का मैं आपको पीएसएल का बाउंड भी तो चाहिए ना हाँ तो बाउंड जो मैं दूंगा वो मैं आपको किस्तों में दूंगा तो ओके क्यों भाई तो दोगे क्योंकि इसलिए दूंगा कि दो करोड़ रुपए तो कंपनी कैश लेगी बीस हजार से ऊपर कैश एक नहीं लेती या तो ड्राफ्ट या चेक मगर 
हम अपने थ्रू अपने माध्यम से हमारा कुछ टेक्निकल फंडा होता है जो आप भी समझ सकते होंगे इससे उस फंडे को अपनाते हुए हमें समय थोड़ा सा लग जाता है पाँच दस दिन तो हम उसको करके करते हुए और आपका बाउंड हम आपको दे देंगे ठीक है लाल वही रहेगा डबल और उसका जो कमीशन आएगा वो आपको कमीशन कमीशन आपको मिल जाएगा आप उसमें मैं एजेंट बना दूँगा एडवाइजर अच्छा और कितना कमीशन मिलेगा हमको एफ जी के ऊपर छः परसेंट एक करोड़ का सीधा छः लाख दो करोड़ का बारह लाख और भी एक्स्ट्रे की बात करें तो आप अरे एक दिन में आप एक करोड़ दो करोड़ डाल देते हैं तो आप एक स्कॉर्पियो स्कॉर्पियो कार गिफ्ट कंपनी देती है एक दिन में यदि आप दो करोड़ डाल दिए तो एक स्कॉर्पियो कार गिफ्ट अभी और सर्कुलर आया हुआ हमारे अच्छा लेकिन उसमें बहुत मन पहचान नहीं होनी चाहिए अरे कुछ पहचान नहीं होगी आपको बोल दिया ना अंडरग्राउंड The rampant malpractice being carried by PACL officials in the heart of Delhi. Our undercover reporter also took stock of the situation in nearby areas. Malpractice there too, rampant. Sir, ये पैसे मालूम है कैसे दे सकते हैं पैसे आपको? ये ना कितना लगेगा आपको? Maximum हो जाए? Maximum कितना? दो लाख चार लाख दस लाख the story of black money of PSEL does not end here. We are yet to show you the picture of those who have been cheated. उन्होंने बताया कि आपको छः साल में पैसा डबल कर दिया जाएगा। तो मैंने पैसा उसमें इन्वेस्ट किया, लेकिन छः साल अवधि पूरी हो गई। और मैंने उस एजेंट से मिला तो उन्होंने अपने ऑफिस में बुलाया और इतने तरह के कागजात मंगे गए जिसमें पूरा करते-करते छः महीने बीत गए हैं लेकिन अभी तक मुझे एक भी पैसा वापस नहीं मिला है परांस कंपनी में पैसा जमा कर रही थी इसके तहत बताया गया था कि छः साल में डबल पैसा हो जाएगा जब डेट पूरा होने पर मैं पैसा लेने गई तो वो पैसा देने में दिक्कत कर रहा था Now, this Pearl Group scam may well be India's biggest Ponzi scheme. Some 50 million investors, 5 crore investors in Indian terms, stand to lose crores of rupees after being lured into this fake investment racket. Here's another look at how the company spun its web of deceit. The CBI in its investigation has found that the maximum number of affected investors are from the state of Uttar Pradesh. Feeling helpless in Uttar Pradesh are 1.3 crore investors, while in Maharashtra, 61 lakh investors have been duped of their rightful earnings. In Tamil Nadu, the figure stands at 41 lakhs, while in Rajasthan, it is 45. In Haryana, 25 lakh people have been cheated of their money. Bhangu's Ponzi scheme raised the hopes of a million investors, poor, helpless investors, who were lured into the scheme with the promise of better returns. All right, uh, it's time now for a quick break. We're going to come back to you with more stories in just a cup. Oh, I'm being told Jugal Parod is still with us. Let me go back to him, Jugal. So where does this investigation go from now? Here, yeah, the situation uh, that is facing all of these over oh, 5 crore people is extremely stark right now. Uh, I, re I recall that the first cabinet, minis uh, cabinet meeting of this government, they had announced uh, you know, an SIT to probe the black, black money issue, which has been a burning issue, politically speaking here. However, we have a, a very, very stark situation where there is an open offer being made to convert black money into white. And there are thousands, in fact, crores of people who have been duped. So the real question now is whether, apart from the CBI investigation, which is anyways going on uh, after the Supreme Court intervened in February, this this year the real question is just what is the government going to do about it is the government willing to take notice because uh, you know this as I just explained uh, has, has has impacted five crore lives across six states it's, it's, it's a pan-india problem 
So all eyes are now actually on the new government at the center and this case will really be, uh, you know, testing its resolve towards ensuring that people, uh, you know, ordinary lives are not burned down in this, in this colossal scheme where it seems that all the law enforcement and all the agencies tasked with checking such malpractices seem to have completely failed here. Chakal Parath, many thanks for this report uh, to you and your team. We're going to wait to see how Narendra Modi's government responds. The CBI, as we've noted, is already investigating this case.